The movement of tectonic plates over the last 1.8 billion years. Using information from the interior of rocks found on the Earth's surface, scientists from China and Australia have reconstructed the tectonics of the planet's plates over the last 1.8 billion years. The work has produced an interesting animation. Scientists from Ocean University in China, in collaboration with researchers from the University of Adelaide, have reconstructed the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates over the last 1.8 billion years, or 40% of its history. The work was led by Zion ZCAO, and their results, in the form of an interesting animation, were published in the journal Geoscience Frontiers. The Dance of the Continents the animation begins with a familiar map of the modern world. Then we start to go back in time. India is moving south, dragging parts of Southeast Asia with it, because the ancient continent of Gondwana existed in the southern hemisphere. Around 200 million years ago, when dinosaurs still walked the Earth, Gondwana joined with North America, Europe, and Northern Asia to form the supercontinent Pangaea. As time moves backward, the animation shows an earlier supercontinent called Rodinia. But that's not all, because Rodinia was formed by the breakup of an even older supercontinent called Nuna, around 1.35 billion years ago. Mapping our planet over its long history creates a beautiful continental dance, mesmerizing in itself and a work of natural art, said Alan Collins of the University of Adelaide. Our planet's surface is divided into tectonic plates, which collide with each other, forming mountains, or split apart and create canyons, which then fill with water, creating oceans and seas. The processes involved in the movement of tectonic plates cause earthquakes and increase volcanic activity, they also push rock from deep underground to the surface. In this way, these processes can release elements into the environment that were previously hidden beneath the surface and that living organisms can use. These elements include phosphorus, which forms the backbone of DNA molecules, and molybdenum, which organisms use to remove nitrogen from the atmosphere and create proteins and amino acids the building blocks of life. Mapping the planet's past plate tectonics is the first step in building a complete digital model of Earth, along with its entire history. Such a model will allow us to test hypotheses about Earth's past. For example, why Earth's climate went through extreme fluctuations, or why oxygen accumulated in the atmosphere and when. It will give us a much better understanding of the feedback between the deep layers of the planet and the surface systems that support life as we know it, Collins said. Modeling our planet's past is essential if we are to understand how nutrients became available to life. The first evidence of complex cells dates back 1.65 billion years ago. The supercontinent Nuna was forming around this time. The authors of the paper wonder whether the mountains that grew during the formation of Nuna could have provided the elements necessary for life to thrive. Much of life on Earth photosynthesizes and releases oxygen. This links plate tectonics to atmospheric chemistry. Some of this oxygen dissolves in the oceans. In turn, many metals, such as copper and cobalt, are more soluble in oxygen-rich water. Under certain conditions, these metals then precipitate out of solution, forming deposits. Many metals also form near volcanoes that occur along the edges of tectonic plates. By reconstructing where plate boundaries have run over time, one can try to locate metal deposits. An accurate digital model of the Earth would also provide clues for exploring other worlds in the solar system and beyond.